Welcome to an Ash Design training video on using textures in Photoshop Elements. I have Photoshop Elements open and I have a couple of different images and a couple of different textures so that I can show you a couple of different ways that you can apply some of the Ash Design textures to your images. And the great thing about textures is you can really just play with them and you know, add just a little something to some of your images if you don't like the background or if you want to just add a little color pop or change the lighting a little bit. That's what we use our textures for. So go to ashdesign.com, browse through all of the texture options, and you can see examples of how we've used all of those textures. Open right now in my palette project bin down here in Photoshop Elements, I have um, two different textures open and two different images and I've actually already applied the images the textures to these images so this one you can see I've used one of the lights um, textures on here and so if I take that off you can see that was the original this is what it looks like with the texture applied and then on this one I used the new something worn image texture and so right here that's the texture on and when I take it off you can see how that just changes that so what I'm going to do now is just delete these layers off of here so I can show you exactly how to apply those. And we'll just start with this image that we have up right here and I'm going to use this something worn texture which I have right down here. This is the number three. And I'm just going to drag and drop that right over here. Now the image that I'm using in the background is actually a low res web image so when I pull this texture over it's going to be really big so the very first thing I'm going to do is size it down. For your image you probably aren't going to need to size it down as much as I'm going to but you'll probably need to size it a little bit to fit your image or the space that you're wanting to fill. So all I'm going to do here is just grab a corner and I can start dragging this and you'll see this box up here pops up. Uh, you'll want to make sure you can strain the properties on some of these textures because some of them get a little bit goofy. Um, this one's not really so bad, but a light, um, that might get out of proportion. Uh, I'm going to keep the texture kind of big on this, so I think I'll go just a little bit smaller here. And I'm just going to pull it over my image and then I'm just going to hit enter to set that, or you could have clicked that little green check mark. Once that's set, I'm going to come up here into my layers palette and right here it says normal. You can pick from any of these options to change how that is. Now for this type of image, I usually do an overlay or a soft light or sometimes a hard light. Um, but you can play with anything in here and just find what you like. Um, so I'll show you a couple. This is the overlay. I think the one I want to use on this one is a soft light. So I'm going to do that soft light right there. So again, you can see our image without and our image with. Now the one thing I want to change here is I obviously don't want all of this texture on her. So to take the texture back off her, we're just going to come down here to the bottom of our layers palette. And you can see right here this little icon. It's a square with a circle inside. And if I mouse over it, it says add layer mask. So I'm just going to click on that. And you can see how I added this white space right on that texture layer. From here, I'm just going to go get my paintbrush. I'm going to make sure that I have black selected. And then you can pick whatever uh, size brush that you want to use. And then you're going to want to zoom in uh, on your image and you know get some nice edges on there. But in this case, I'm just going to be real quick just to kind of show you how it's going to work. So I'm just going to paint it off of her skin and her body, her clothes, her hair. And if there were other places that you wanted to take it off, you could certainly do that too. Um, so if you wanted to frame in something or uh, something like that, you can use the textures to do the same thing. Now again, for printing, you're going to want to zoom in 200% or so and really kind of check those edges. But um, I just wanted to show you this was our original and then this is with the texture applied. So you can just see how it changes that image. Now let's flip over here to our other image and again this already has the texture on there so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. In this texture I'm using our lights and so I have the texture right here I'm just going to drag it right over to my image. And the same thing here this image is is really really big um, compared to the, the web image that I'm applying it to so I'm just going to center it up here a little bit 
and then I'm going to hit Control or Command T uh, to pop up these um, um, transform size boxes right here and I'm going to put it about 50 percent make sure my properties are constrained again and I think that's probably good to get me started I might want to change it a little more but I'm going to position it right there come back to my layers palette and on all of these light ones again you can play with whatever you want but what really works nice is this screen and you can see when I put the screen in it just really lightens it up this is a really big sunburst right here. We can transform our size a little bit more, to make that just a little bit smaller so it's a little bit more subtle. And then you can just position that wherever you want, set that, and again, you know, here's our image before and here's our image after. Just softens it up, shows that light, and you can move that light, you know, to wherever it makes the most sense for, for your image. So something clear over there, something back here in this corner, um, whatever works for you. From here, you just save the files as JPEGs, upload them to your favorite printer, and you would be set to go.